And if you keep these documents ready, if you keep these forms ready, and the minute the program opens, all you need to do is fill up a few steps, enter the information, upload the documents, click on submit. Welcome to the channel. My name is Kubair. I'm a CICC licensed immigration consultant. This channel is all about Canadian immigration news, updates, things you should do, things you should not. Now, H-1B workers, if you are an H-1B worker in the US, okay, now from what I understand in the recent report, it said that there are nearly 600,000 H-1B workers in the US. Of course, not everybody is from the tech or tech background or IT background. There are other categories of occupations as well, but by and large, there are 600,000 uh, H-1B workers. Canada is looking to invite 10,000 of that. I'm sure that you already know by now. It's, it's, it's big. It has been hot news. It has been big news. A lot of people are skeptical that because you're an H-1B worker, why would you want to come to Canada? But Canada is not targeting a high paying on the job H-1B worker who is in the US. They're not targeting them. They've already identified that if you're an H-1B worker means you already have certain level of education. You already have certain level of uh, work experience. Obviously, you have been vetted by the U.S. to come to the to, to come to the U.S. So you've already cleared certain qualifying stages, and Canada has no problem attracting those workers who are either laid off or are not happy where they are in in the U.S. Or they see that they do not have any prospects of doing something, or they see no prospect for their green card, or they see no pr prospect for staying in the U.S. for long term. Any of these, all they're looking for is ten thousand. Okay, that's the cap. So 10,000 workers, this, this program is going to open on the 16th of July, which surprisingly is a Sunday. I'm not sure why they would keep a Sunday as the day to open for this. But you know what? There could be a strategy to it. Sunday being a day when most people are off, they have opened this date to you know accept H-1B worker uh, work permit applications, which basically means you will be able to submit this application on the 16th of July. And depending on the fact that it's only... 10,000 spots, it is expected that this would get filled up very, very quickly. Now, if you were an H-1B worker, the smart thing to do would be to understand what the requirement is. It's not a very, very complicated one. Uh, we, as immigration consultants, are already accepting applications from H-1B workers to sort of we can keep it ready because it's only 10,000 spots and 10,000 spots are going to get snapped. Like At least that's my opinion because there are, as I said, 6 lakh workers and out of 6 lakh, only 10,000 need to be coming. But the total cap for this year is 10,000. So it's either 10,000 or this year, uh, till the end of this year, whichever comes first. I absolutely feel it will be 10,000 which will come first. Uh, the people who are selected, who are approved, can also bring in their families on open work permit. So their spouse or partners can come on open work permit. The children, if they are below the age of 22, can also join them. If they're below the, the school-going age, they can study in schools for free. That's the, that's, the, that's the benefit of doing it. Of course, there is no requirement for a job offer. This is an LMIE exempt, and you would be eligible to get a three-year work permit. The good thing is the three-year work permit, no job offer. The smart thing to do would be to make sure that your passports are valid for three years or more, because if they're not for three years or more, then you will get a shorter duration of your work permit validity. Uh, you can go on to the IRCC website. You can check what the work permit for people who are outside Canada or open work permit holders. What is the condition? What is the requirement? You can check what forms you need to fill out. All, all that information is available on the IRCC website, right? You can keep all those forms ready. You can keep the set of documents ready. Probably get a police clearance if you have to. Uh, you, In most cases, a medical is not required for people who are coming from the US. But if you have one, that's great. Uh, have your education documents ready because bachelor's degree is at least the least required document. Have your work experience documents ready. That is going to be a very, very big document. You, you will need to prove and establish that you have a background. Okay. And I have a feeling this is going to be only for the tech workers at this point of time. That is the indication because the announcement was made in the collision conference. The whole heading of the whole con uh, announcement was to attract tech talent. So I am of the opinion at this point of time that this is probably to target the tech workers. It is definitely possible that they might attract all or any H-1B workers. It's a possibility, but we don't know at this point of time. We will only know on the 16th of July, <laughs> but by that time it will be too late. So if you are a person, regardless of who that occupation is, if you're interested in this H-1B program, one, if you're doing it, if you're choosing a consultant, hey, consider us. We're the smart ones, right? <laughs> uh, but if you're doing it yourself, obviously go to the IRCC website, check any work permit application uh, process, download the forms, complete the forms, prepare the documentation. In documentation, 
the most important document obviously is going to be your H1B visa. Okay, so have a complete scan of your passport. Hopefully your passport is valid for more than, uh, at least more than three years. Uh, police clearance is not required, but have it handy. At least from the FBI, PCC, you can get it over a couple of days. It's not a big deal. Keep your education documents handy, your passport scanned, your photograph scanned, and that's just about it. Keep the forms prepared. Uh, you would need probably 1294. You would need 5645. The family, did I say it right? 5645 for the family information and a travel information at most. Uh, that's pretty much it. And if you keep these documents ready, if you keep these forms ready, the minute the program opens, all you will need to do is quickly create your GC key account. You can actually keep a GC key account also ready. And the minute the, the program opens, all you need to do is fill up a few steps, enter the information, upload the documents, pay the fee, $255 for the open work permit, $155 for the work permit, $100 for the open work permit, click on submit. That will be as quickly as you will be able to complete it. Uh, and that is something which you can absolutely do. So this is for H-1B workers. It will start on the 16th of July. You're most welcome to contact us. If you're looking to get some help on this application, we'll be happy to take it on. Thank you so much. Take care and I shall see you next time.